Heliper and Nuzleaf and destroyed. It is deep. Deeply disturbing and frightening. That's the goal. Here I am, back on Rep 118, fresh off my Marvel Gym victory. And now, I'm gonna set some poser trainer, some poser trainers straight here. Before I head north to Falarbor, and eventually Lava Ridge, Lava Ridge, whatever you're supposed to, however you're supposed to say it. I think it's Lava Ridge. This one's a pothead. She's all into herbs. It's obvious. Not judging. You know, more like dank aroma lady. Thank a Roma Lady Rose. Send out the Hurricane. Excellent. As I thought, total weaklings, level fourteen. attack, finally. So, I'm thinking it'll be a little while till I get to the fourth gym. It's probably going to take a little while. I'm probably more than one episode away. I probably won't get there this episode. Oh, damn effect spore. Don't you put my Pelipper to sleep. You gave my Pelipper a hit of some strong weed and now it's asleep. How dare you? What? She even smells an odor off the Pokenav. She's high. She's high. Whatever. Maybe she wants to call to get high together sometime. Smoking buddy. DeAndre. Zigzagoon. Well, she did. Anyway, in a reversal uh, from the Marvel Gem. In the next gym, I'm gonna have to rely heavily on the other one of my Pokemon, Pelican. Unless I catch another one. Unless I get another Pokemon between now and then. And I might actually. Very well might be adding another addition to my Pokemon team. Maybe even this episode. We'll see. We'll see if I find what I'm looking for. First, I just want to take care of the trainers in this little corner over here. I guess you could say two Pokemon is, you know, not very many to have after you get three badges. Most people probably would have more Pokemon than badges by now. 
But I'm not most people. I'm particular about the Pokemon I train. And for me, it's never been about gotta catch them all. Oh, no, no worries. I don't want to copy you. You suck. For me, it's always been about gotta catch only the ones I like. Gotta catch only the ones I want. Gotta catch only the ones I want. Pokemon. I never got the appeal of catching them all. Like, what then? Are you gonna use all the ones you catch if you catch uh, over a hundred Pokemon, you know? You're never gonna use them all, what's the point? You're just gonna sit them in a box to rot. Forever. And they're all gonna stay underleveled. It's not what I do. I don't stretch my experience thin. No supporting actors in my Pokemon journey. Only stars, only the six stars will be with me long term. Smash that Magnemite. Let's see if Helkin can wake up. Whismur are loud, right? Have an uproar and wake up my Pelican that's asleep. If that works. Should work. Come on. Astonish would wake you up. If, if a move called Astonish is used on you, you should wake up. Good. Guitarist Dalton. La 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 la. Go join a choir. You're not a guitarist in a rock band. Oh, don't give me that shit. Here's one of those people who think they have to unplug. You don't have to unplug, dude. Trust me. Bands like Cannibal Corpse exist. They never unplug, and they're always loud, and they made a career of doing it, so... You can do that, if you want. You can be loud all the time. That's valid. That's valid as an artistic approach in music. Like, you can make whatever the hell kind of music you want, and if you want it to all be noisy, be noisy. There's a place for every kind of artist. What do you have? Tentacle. Just faint attack it. Level 33. Sadistic is becoming quite powerful, and that's good. You were beaten in heart, you were beaten in mind, you were beaten in every possible way. What do you say? Cool. Done with that little corner. Let's just lead with Helican. Pelican is the Pokemon I'll have to rely on at Lava Ridge. More than Sadistic, at least. Like, Sadistic isn't as crippled against fire types as Pelican is against electric types, but still. Must strengthen. That water bird. And now I can smash this rock. Very good. Alright. From recalling what happened in Sapphire, I think. I 
think I ran into Team Aqua next before I was able to get to Lava Ridge. Alright, then. The interviewer and cameraman pair. We can take them. Let's give them the story. What's camera guy say? I'm gonna do the wrong thing and talk to the camera guy, not the interviewer. Gabby and Ty. You must televise. Sadistic's warning to the world. I want these. I want this news agency to televise to the world. Sadistic's warning that it's going to reap vengeance against all of humanity. It's becoming stronger to do so, and this is the beginning right here. This is just a a taste of what to come. What will come? Just a taste of the havoc and destruction. This Nuzzly for reap, wreak on the world. At the end of this battle, Seadistic is just gonna get in front of the camera and just like make threatening faces. <laughs> Maybe bullet seed at the camera. That'll be that'll be good. Do a bullet seed at the camera, and then have the broadcast end with just you know bullet seed coming right at you, right at the lens. Just bullet seed. Oh, you spotted more than a trainer. Don't worry about who I am, worry about who the Nesleaf is. The Pelipper's just here to assist it in its vengeance. And so am I. Oh, they want an interview. Let's humor them. Oh, feelings about the battle? Short and sweet, got it. Do I only get one word? Endings? I need to give this person, like, something ominous, something grim-sounding. Short and sweet and grim-sounding. Something to... Uh, make the world aware of the doom that's coming. The doom that my Nuzleaf will inflict upon it. I'm not seeing anything though. It sucks. Preposterous. Hang on, there's gotta be something. See, there are no heavy words. I need something like destruction. Obliteration. Evisceration. Eradication. You know. They're not giving me anything good. Destroyed! There we go. Might go with that. Well, I destroyed them. And soon others will also be destroyed. Let's just go with that. Destroyed. It is the perfect clincher. I wasted too damn much time <laughs> to say one word. <laughs> wasted too much time with them. Damn interviews. Damn interviews taking up all your time. There's a 
the Liberty Trainer, you know what I'm saying? Press always want a piece of you. You get three badges and then they just don't leave you alone. Bullet seed, that adorable little mouse. Just bump it full of seeds. <laughs> Give it welts. <laughs> Disgustingly good. Thanks, I guess. I guess that's a compliment. Why are you peppy? What are you on? What drugs have you been doing, Camper Travis? Perfect matchup for the shrew. Pretty nice. Pretty nice having a grass type and a water type. They're good types to have. Particularly early in most Pokemon games. There's just so many things weak to them. Weak to one of those two types. Here's the desert, which I probably can't go in because I don't have goggles. Hey, what the hell is that building? Look at that building there. That wasn't in Sapphire. I want to investigate it. I want to explore. What is it? Oh. Also get to have a little taste of the desert theme right here. One of the best tracks in the soundtrack of this game. So good. Just listen to that. The way it develops, you know. So good. I'll get more of a chance to listen to it later. Luckily, Luckily, we're plowing through these trainers pretty fast. None of them are a serious threat. Oh, he has a Nuzleaf. So underleveled. Probably one hit KO it here. Nobody can withstand a Helican. Good to have evolved Pokemon. Oh, what a pathetic little, what a pathetic little kid. Go home to mommy then. It's amazing how many children are allowed to just go on Pokemon adventures when they're really not capable or, you know, able to take care of themselves. I am not gonna sing with you. Do not like singing. Unless it's like death metal vocals. Oh, it's the dreaded Taylo. Take it out. One less Taylo means the world is a little more safe. Taylo, the scourge of Hoen, as it's also known. What a weird Pokemon. I'll give it credit for being unique. Oh, have the most fun you went on. Oh, I like that attitude, actually. That's a good attitude. I kind of agree with that. I kind of think. The only point of life is pretty much having fun. What else could there be, you know? You gotta have fun. If you're not having fun, what the hell's the point? Ah, 
Hiker. Hikers looked really weird back in Gen 1. If you look at the, uh, if you look at the sprites from that first pair of Pokemon games, they're just all over the place weird. The Pokemon sprites are weird. The trainer sprites are weird. Hikers in that game kind of look deformed. <laughs> they look like they have several birth defects. <laughs> Their hands are just like weird little nubs. <laughs> That's part of the charm of the first Pokemon games. Not really knowing what you're looking at with every other sprite. You know. Charming and how grotesque <laughs> those early sprites were. I thought your legs were in shape. Now you're cramped. I can't grab you bandages from your backpack. What a creep. What? That was a trick to... He just pulled a trick to register himself in my Pokenav. That You want me to reach into your backpack and now you're just registering yourself in my Pokenav? People, the nerve. I see Team Magma up there. Which is curious. That's a difference from Sapphire, at least. Those were two Sapphire grunts in Sapphire. Or not Sapphire. Those were two Aqua Grunts in Sapphire. Can't talk. You make more talking mistakes if you try to play a game while you're talking. I've learned this. Me chap. Not a problem. Convenience of having a water bird. Water and flying. Not that many water flying types, you know. Gyarados was one ever since Gen 1, but it never really learned any flying moves, so its flying type was just kind of a liability that just made it super weak to electricity. Resistant to ground, but, you know. Water type doesn't need to be resistant to ground, it just KOs things that are ground. Unlike Pelipper, Pelipper is a water flying type that makes the most of its two types. Hey man, is there literally going to awaken that thing? Sounds like it, yeah. But I heard we need more I heard we need a meteorite to do it. Oh, I get it now. That's why the rest of the crew went out to follow our bar. You got it, and until they come back, we're not gonna let anyone pass, right? Whatever. I know they're gonna go through that again. Hmm. So they went to Flarber. In Sapphire, it would have been Team Aqua doing their actions right now. Very curious. I am curious to see, you know, how all the interactions with Magma and Aqua are going to be different in Emerald. I have no clue. I have no clue what's in store. And that's part of the fun. Being surprised. More trainers. I think... Yeah, let's use a few of the potions up. If we don't use them now, we're never gonna find use for them. Do a little save. I have a habit of saving more often than I really need to. Always have in Pokemon games. 
trying not to do it too much in this playthrough. After all, I'm committed to accepting all losses. And, you know, dealing with the consequences of my ineptitude if I should ever lose a Pokemon battle. There have to be consequences, there has to be tension, there has to be something I'm afraid of. Otherwise this just won't be fun. I can't just uh, allow myself to reset every time I lose. Otherwise I'll just take risks all the time. And be resetting all the time. That's not fun. It's more fun to have every decision count. Every decision be, you know, life or death for your Pokemon. Just on autopilot here. Cruise control. You need a romantic battle. You're getting too friendly. Immediately too friendly. Who says that? Who goes up to a stranger and says, I need a romantic battle? Oh, that's another dank aroma lady. That explains it. Wing attack. Swoop down on that shroom. Pretty sure Rosalia has a poison point ability, or can have that ability. Hopefully I don't get poisoned. I should probably carry antidotes. Just a few. Maybe I'll make a note to pick up some antidotes. Would hate to be poisoned far from a Pokemon Center. With no fly, you know. Helkin can't fly yet. I'm not busy, I can rematch. You want to rematch? Let's go. You want to go? Let's go again. She doesn't have it. She doesn't have it in her. I'll talk. She's not ready. I just obliterated her Pokemon. She hasn't even healed them yet. Other northern end of the desert. Still good. Still good. I'll show you. Wilton? Wilton? Is that a typical name, Wilton? I don't feel like I've heard that name before. Wilton. <sighs> Maybe a more obscure name or something. Ooh, it's an electrate. Hmm, do I want to risk even attacking once? Let's see. Let's see if I can take it out. Interesting test here. I am that powerful. Helican is that powerful. Yeah, go see the stick. Hits. Oh, Makuhita. Let's use a flying move on that. Pretty happy, pretty happy with how these two Pokemon that I've never trained before now are performing.
damn right I've toughened him up. We've been through hell already. Three badges and we've already been through hell. We've been through so much. Like, we've already suffered character molding losses. If it behooves me. You have a good vocabulary. It's like a it's like an English class vocabulary word. I like that word. Behooves. Why are you staring at a tree, dude? Will I make my own room? Maybe, maybe not. Oh, so he assumes I don't want it. Maybe not. Maybe. There we go. So this is the only place I've found secret power so far. I'm not sure if you can buy a TM for it later. Anywhere. Maybe there's only one. See, I wouldn't make it. I wouldn't make my secret base in a tree, I don't think. I think I would make it in a cave. I think that's a better option. Like a tree? A tree can just, like, have lightning strike it and fall, and then your secret base that's a tree house will just come crumbling down. Or the tree might just rot someday, make it a disease, or get infested by some bugs and die. Then what are you gonna do? You can do nothing. Rock is more long-lasting. That's why you want to make your secret base in a, in a rock wall. Preferably. Make a cave. That's generous. Raspberry. I'm not gonna try hard. I'm just going to accept the fruits of your labor and not put in any labor myself. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh, it's the crazy lady who lets you rest and wants you to keep resting. Like, she's very lonely and she's always trying to get people to stay for longer. Watch this. Rest once and watch. She's gonna try to get me to rest again. She's gonna say, oh, you still need rest. No, 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 I'm fine, really, I'm fine. We're fine, we're fine. But thank you for your generosity. You're a very generous, nice, friendly old lady. Thank you. What's on TV? Is it the broadcast of Nuzleaf's warning? You better give the warning and give it accurately, or we'll track you down and make you pay and make you deliver it correctly next time. That's it. Trainer Booger. I'm sure it did pique your interest that we're going to unleash vengeance on the world. Yes, you ended up in a battle. Dominated, yes. Flattened, rolled up, tossed aside. Very good. They're, they're uh, making the point that we obliterated them and had no mercy. Good. Ruthlessly strong. She gets it. She gets the message. That's it. Make everybody who sees this broadcast across Hoenn, make them all fear us. That's, that's the goal. The combination was divine. Yes. Yes, and it smashed you into oblivion. No, not a sign of friendship. Nah, nah. You shut the fuck up about that crap. No more sappy crap. Only focus on the destruction, please. Yes, get get to the summary. That's right. Destroyed. No friendship, just destroyed. Helipper and Nuzleaf and destroyed. It is deep. Deeply disturbing and frightening. That's the goal. Oh, 
All right, well, that's a start, you know. That's a start to build our frightening reputation and become a feared force across the land. Baby steps. You know, you can't become notorious and feared overnight. We'll get there. We'll get there, Cedar Stick. Someday everybody will fear you. And the lumberjack which chopped down the tree which spawned you will know the depth of your rage. <laughs> it's fun to make up a backstory for your Pokemon. Gives everything more weight, more gravity. Oh, look at this little wingle. Poor little unevolved wingle. I used to be there. Pelican used to be a poor little gull. Oh, I should have used a water move. Whoops. Oh, you have a super potion? Damn cool trainers. They think they're so cool just because they carry around super potions. I think that makes them cooler than other people. It's the only thing that really makes them special. Or different from other trainers. They have super potions. The carry healing items. That's right. So many Pokenav entries. I have received one or two random calls so far in the game, and I think they came from people in my Pokenav. I think that's what that does. I think they can just call me out of the blue anytime and totally surprise me. It's honestly probably going to be annoying more than anything else, but it might also be amusing. One person who called us in the last episode or two seemed like they were high, talked about being on the beach and being hungry. <laughs> you know, this has always struck me as a part of the game that's unhealthy, this environment, for us all to be in. Like, it's raining ash. Think about the haze that's probably in the air, particulate matter going into your lungs. That's got to be unhealthy. Like everybody is going to have respiratory problems who's spending any time on this route. It doesn't sound that pleasant. Raining ash, and there's a little kid over there who's like playing in it. I wouldn't be happy. I'll play in snow, but not ash raining from the sky. Oh, why is it so cool around here? Is it the deadly ash falling from the sky, which is getting into your lungs and giving you long-term respiratory damage, youngster Jalen? Is that what makes it cool? Respiratory damage is cool now? I don't get kids. Seriously. Yeah, it probably also stinks that there's like, probably like volcanic gases in the air. <laughs> the sun is being blocked. This is like an apocalyptic scenario and everybody's just treating it like it's a fun vacation. Spinda. Pretty weird Pokemon.
and a good new bit of music on this route. I haven't heard much so far. At least she recognizes that Ash is filthy and yucky. Well, let me just water gun your renewal in case any ash did get on it. Let's wash it off. Real thorough, like, until it's dead. It's clean now. There you go. Gave your renewal a free bath. I don't need to slide under your parasol. What a weird... What a weirdo. What's this? You want the item? See, there's a little indent here where you could make a cave for a secret base, but who would want property here? Like, who wants to live here? You know, fucking ash raining down sounds miserable. I don't want to wake up to this. You want to wake up and go outside and see ash? Just ash raining from the sky? Depressing. Why are you collecting ashes? Oh, I do remember there was one person on this route, I think, who... They, like, make things with ash. And you have to, like, walk through the ash to collect ash for them to use to make stuff. I forget what exactly. That was a feature, though. Twin spindles. They're normal types, right? Yes. That was boring, so go do something less boring. Go collect ashes, because that's not boring, right? <laughs> yeah, weight flute, that's something you can make with the ash. I don't know what those things do, I don't remember. That's right, they make glass accessories. Let's just see. Is he like saying huff puff or is he actually just, is that just a sound effect? It's weird. Oh, thanks for the soot sack. Just what I wanted. It was my dream to collect soot. Now I can do it. I wonder if he charges, or if he makes them for free if you have the ash. Is that like a key item? Yep. Hmm. This is a little... This is a little shit waiting to ambush me. You think you'll have an advantage, but you won't. I'm ready. Not surprised, I already saw you. Ninja boy. Low. Oh, carving. Old school Gen 1 poison type. I like coughing. I didn't used to like coughing for a long time, but 
Coughing and wheezing are just such weird, like mutated looking monsters. I can't not love them. I also had a thing for poison tapes. Much like Team Rocket explains in the first Pokemon uh, anime season, poison Pokemon are perfect for perfidious people, and uh, I'm kind of like that. I'm a little perfidious. Perfidious enough that I'm probably going to have to catch at least one poison type in any Pokemon playthrough I go through. I will probably be adding a poison tape. Here an emerald. Like if I don't have a poison type, at least one poison type on any Pokemon team that I have, I feel like I'm missing something. Like where's my Pokemon that can be resistant to poisoning and poison others? I always need to have one. They're useful. It's useful to be able to just have at least one thing that's totally resistant to poison and can dish out its own poison attacks. I think. Occasionally you'll run across like some Elite Four member that might want to use Toxic on you or something. You can come in handy in those, those times. Poisoned by a hill again. This is why I need an antidote. I think I'm close to the next town, though. Ancient ninja technique of Pokenab registering. <laughs> Sneaky little shit, how dare you. Get in there. What's this? TM32 double team. I like that it sh uh, explains what move it is when you pick it up. Don't have to look. No, it is not proof that the Earth is alive. Pseudoscience. Don't believe in that. Earth is alive. You have no proof. You have no, you have no study to show that. You're just, this is just some hippie couple's kid, and they, the hippie couple says the Earth is alive all the time, and his, their kid just picked up on that. Now, goes around spouting nonsense. Like I'm all for hippies, but not pseudoscience. Go re-educate yourself, Dylan. Go study your science textbooks more. No, I don't get it. Ashes and eyelashes? No. That's not a joke. It is bad. You should feel bad. What's this? Hyper potion. Alright, Helican is bleeding HP from that poison. I would like to get past these two without fighting so I can heal. There weren't two trainers running back and forth right here in Sapphire. Let's just do a little heal the roof. Oh, I think this is the person who's responsible for the responsible for the Pokemon box system in this game. She's just blocking the computer right here. Way to block people from using the technology you developed, idiot. Uh-huh. And you're in the way, idiot. Why are you standing there? Yeah. 
It's great that I'm using it, but it's not great that you're in the way of me using it, is it? Idiot. <laughs> Actually, I didn't need to use it. She's still an idiot, though. What if I did need to use it? <laughs> what if I did? You don't know. The inconsideration some people show, you know, they just, they don't think of others. So they'll just stand at the PC and block it. I'm gonna break your little sink. Here, you two. Ugh. That's it. Lick us away. Not likely. Kobe. Kobe with a C. A Skarmory. Interesting. Skarmory are pretty good. It's a cool Pokemon. I like it. I might train one. Or I might have trained one in this playthrough if I wasn't more committed to just, like, using Gen 3 Pokémon from Hoenn. I want to let the new Pokémon that were introduced in this generation shine, you know? Swellow. Keep Pelicanin. My water bird is better than your bird. I'll show you. Shoot, shoot his swallow out of the sky with water gun. You gotta think that if two birds were fighting and one has the power to just forcibly shoot water out of its mouth, it's just gonna shoot down the other bird. And that's what happened. Predictable. Shot you down. Like a super soaker. You got beaten easily because Helican is strong. It's not your fault. Anybody would be obliterated. Warmth here? Hang on. Someone else earlier said the ash was blocking out the sun and making it cold. And now she says it's warm. They don't know what they're talking about. We can attack the Smeril. And then I can go on. I want to see what Team Magma is up to. Probably shouldn't have switched too well. Five times. Zorb. What a useless move. Uselessly weak. Maybe it is a dream. You don't seem to be in touch with what the temperature is outside here. Unless the other person was lying. Now she's fallen asleep. Professor Cosmo. Ah, oh, he went with Team Magma in this game. Any antidotes, by chance? I would just like to have one. Nice. Or a few. Let's say four. 42,000. Getting some good savings. 
from most, you know, all those victories I'm having lately. I haven't lost in a while. In bag five. Eh, we're good on those. Good on those. Escape rope could be handy. Might be handy to have, like, just an extra. I think we're good. Anything I don't need. I can pawn off. Most other things I have could be useful at some point. Fifty? That's nothing. Wouldn't be worth it. Okay. I might I might just deposit a few items that I'm not gonna use anytime soon. Evolve it. Was that was that your skitty right here? If it's learned all the moves you want, evolve it. That always bothered me in the anime when like you know, Pikachu doesn't evolve into Raichu, Ash doesn't want to use a thunderstone on him. I so don't agree with that. Evolve your damn Pikachu and make it stronger, damn it. It's a bunch of misinformation in the anime about Pokemon is staying strong even when they don't evolve. No, not how it works. They evolve and they get stronger. There's literally no stat that won't improve when your Pikachu evolves. Move Tutor. You just have to make sure you teach your Pokemon, you know, level them up enough to learn all the moves they're going to learn before you use a stone. That's the way it goes with stone evolution. A farm community with small gardens? Where are the gardens? Where are the gardens? I see brown earth. Brown barren earth. Are these the gardens? Pathetic. Look at that. What are they growing here? It looks like weeds. Nothing but a few weeds. I'm not impressed with their agriculture. Let's check this out. The guy who makes a cave in his house to dig for fossils. Oh, TM28. That's an awesome TM to be given. I don't know if I'll teach any of my Pokemon dig, but it is a cool move. Not the most powerful, but still pretty cool. Oh, well, how generous of you. None for me. I did actually find a fossil in Sapphire when I played that recently. In the desert. Found a root fossil and trained that into a cradily. Cradily, however you say it. It was kind of a hard Pokemon to deal with, like, basically until it evolved it was unable to hold its own in most battles, it was just kind of a pain in the ass to be honest. I like Creedilly's design and the leap, weird little barnacle sea lily things, but kind of hard, kind of hard to use and make useful. There are two aspects to a Pokemon's appeal for me, one, how how practically useful is it to... Do I like it? Do I like its design? And I kind of like value those things 50-50 equally. Fisherman and this guy. Bow, bow, bow. Hmm. 
That's a useful move. Or actually useless. <laughs> That's a pretty much useless move. I don't think there's any practical use for Roar. At all. Like, you can just run away from any battle. Wild battle. I guess in a trainer battle it drags out a different Pokemon. I don't see the use of dragging out a random different Pokemon, though. Another one with a Nuzleaf. How did you find a Nuzleaf? Took me forever to find my C-Dot. How are these other people finding it? Okay. A quirk or two. That's kind of my philosophy. Believe it when I see it. Believe your fish when I see it. Fisherman Kai. Arboroach. That's not that big. Or Barboach. It's a water ground type. So I can use water gun. this? What were you guarding? Energy powder. Hmm. Bitter powder. That restores as much as a super potion. Before I go further, I am gonna... I am just gonna deposit an item or two. Or three. Make sure I don't run out of bag space in any pouches of my backpack. I don't think I'm going to need a Macho Priss. I don't need to reduce speed to accelerate growth. Normal growth rate's fine. Foster's friendship. We don't care about that. We only care about dominating our opponents. Friendship. No. Just psh. That's all I have to say. Normal type moves, boring. Ground type moves. If I ever get a ground move, oh, to consider taking that out. Preventing evolution, don't need that. Good. Good, let's go. Kind of an interesting landscape around here. You asked for it. You asked for it, Claude. With your magic carp. Like, why are you... Why are you picking a fight when you have a magic herb? You should just be sitting ashamed in a corner that you have a magic herb on you at all. It's not even that close to evolving. Okay. Oh. 
34. Pretty high. This is one thing I kind of like about just using very few Pokemon. The Pokemon you do use get very strong. Funny story, when I was first playing the Gen 1 games as a kid, I didn't really understand a lot about how the mechanics of the game worked for a while. <laughs> so like for the first half of the game, when I was playing through Pokemon for the first time ever as a kid, and I was like 8 years old or something, maybe younger, my starter was a Charmander, and I never switched because I didn't understand the concept of switching Pokemon in battle. So I just left Charmander in the first slot of my team. Oh, he knows there's something in Meteor Falls, do you? That's interesting. And that Charmander became a Charizard very quickly and just... plowed. It just mowed down everything in the game. I basically just beat the game with Charizard. Because it got ridiculously high level, and even if it was weak to something, it would just kill it with Slash. And Slash would always get a critical hit back in Gen 1. Constantly, it never didn't get a critical hit. So, I was able to do that. Pretty easily, actually. You might think the first two gyms being rock and water would give me trouble, but nope. Not if you just only use Charmander and fight everything with Charmander. It'll get so strong, it'll just destroy everything. surf around here to explore on the water yet. Dang. Oof. I think I'm gonna have to call this an episode. I didn't do much this episode other than just travel across the land and fight. Fighting. Just fighting trainers. Fighting trainers around Hoenn. But that's okay. I did make progress. I did get through Falarbor. Started here, you know, and went all the way around here. Now I'm at the northwestern tip of Hoenn. I'm gonna save. And call it an episode. I'll probably get to more exciting things next time. The battles on the way here had to happen, though. So, join me next time when I'll probably be catching another Pokemon, and probably also seeing what's happening at, you know, see, I'll probably see what's happening at Meteor Falls and maybe even get to a gym, we'll see.